Hey guys, it's Rich Man. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, if you're having problem with your Fire Stick or Fire TV running slowly, it's probably because you've added too many add-ons, too many APKs, and it needs to be reset. So today I'm gonna to show you how to speed up your Fire Stick or Fire TV or Fire Cube, and it's really very easy. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe below, smash that like button, and share this video with a friend. Okay guys, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the home screen of your Fire TV. Just click your home button and the home screen comes up. And then you see on the top here, we're going to scroll over to you find settings. Once you get the settings, click down one and then you're going to click over till you find my fire tv click on that and you're going to see some options here it's going to go all the way down the bottom and you see where it says reset the factory default that's what you want you're going to click on that and then it's going to ask you to confirm so you're about to reset your amazon fire tv to its original factory settings your sign-in information and personal preferences will be lost. That means you're gonna to have to re-sign in to your Amazon account once you're done. So scroll over to reset, we're gonna click that, and then we're just gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna take some time here to reset. You see it says resetting your Amazon Fire TV to factory defaults. When it's done, it will restart. Okay, I'm back guys. You'll see it says it's resetting your Fire TV now. So you have a little slider bar here. When it reaches the end, it's gonna restart again. It says, please do not unplug the power cable during the update. So again, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so now that we're done, my Fire TV is gonna restart. You'll see that once the screen comes up that it's restarting, it's gonna come up and tell you that it's optimizing the system storage and applications. So it's gonna take about 10 minutes to complete. Again, I'll be back. Now once it's finished optimizing, it's gonna ask you to repair your remote. So we're gonna hold down that home button, hold it close to your fire device, your stick, your TV, and just hold down the home button until it recognizes it. Okay, so it's now recognized your remote and it, it tells you to press the start. You wanna press that center button on the bottom to play with the pause. Click that once. Now we're gonna set it up for your language. Mine's English, United States. Click on that. Now it's finishing the update. Okay, so once it's done updating everything and uh, optimizing the system, it's gonna ask you to sign in again or to create a new account if you don't have an account already. Or let's say somebody gave you a Fire TV or a Fire Stick. So if that's the case, then you wanna reset it to its default and then create an account or sign into your account. So what you're gonna do is click on where it says, I already have an Amazon account. Click on that. Then it's gonna come up with this screen. They want you to sign into your Amazon account. The first step is to go to Amazon on your mobile device or on your desktop and go to this address, amazon.com forward slash code. And then it's gonna want you to enter this code and activate it. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can hit the, the three line option key on your remote and sign in right on your TV. So that's what I'm gonna do. Click on that and it's gonna come up with your keyboard. So I'm gonna sign in now guys, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now that I've signed in, it also wants to send me a verification code. It says it's required, this Amazon account requires a verification code to complete the sign-in. To register this device, enter the verification code sent to your phone in the next step. So I'm gonna check my phone now. And I'm gonna enter my verification code. Be right back. Okay, now it's registering my device and it says successfully registered. 
Okay, now that I've successfully registered my device, it's gonna ask me if I want parental controls enabled. I'm gonna say no parental controls. Choose your streaming services. Everything is free to add. Some will require payment for full access. Obviously, that's stuff like Netflix, Hulu. Okay, so here I am on my home screen now. And this is showing me my, uh, my Prime feed. It's also, it also looks like it reinstalled some of my apps that I had from before because it knows from my account that I've already had these apps installed previously. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope this helps to speed up your Fire Stick, Fire TV, or Fire Tube. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.